Okay, so on your study guide, there is on page 153 of the study guide, there is a solution that looks like this. Some people raise the flag to say they don't know how to answer it. So I just want to take you through what I was explaining when I didn't show my, my calculator on the screen. When you answer this question, you need to solve it step by step. By step by step, it means you need to do manual calculations and follow the board mass rule, which says brackets first, exponents or, or um, uh, in this instance, we will use uh, the roots as well as part of the exponent. Then division and multiplication, which have the same priority, we can work from left to right, and addition and subtraction. So addition and subtraction comes last. So this question has an addition, a, a subtraction, and the other one will have an addition. So you will do this step last. So the first step that you will do is to remove the bracket, then multiply with the, the value outside of the bracket, then divide by 200. Take the square root, multiply by 1,4465. So I've already written some of the steps down. I'm going to take you through these steps, the first steps of doing it, which are the manual steps there. So removing the bracket, meaning 1 minus that, uh, 1 minus 0, 0,46 times 0, 0,46 divide by 200. Those are the steps we're going to follow on your calculator like that. So what you're going to do on your calculator is say one minus 0 0.46 equals, because we have to say, we have to get the answer, then multiply by, multiply by 0 0.46, so we multiply by 0 0.46, and say equal, and then we need to divide by 200. Then we press the division, divide by 200. Then we need to take away the square root. But before that, we need to say equal, because we need to have an equal sign. And now we can take the square root. By pressing the square root, you need to look for the square root on your calculator, the square root function, and then press the equal sign. And then you will have your answer. Then we need to multiply by 1,465. So we say multiply by 1,645. And then we press equal. And that will give us the answer of the left hand side. And then we write all the digits down, all of them. We do not skip anything. And when you're done, you go out and you go and call 0, 0,46 minus 0, 0,5. I made a mistake there. 0, 0,5. 0, 0,5 seven nine. Five seven. Nine seven nine seven three one two three one two three five one three five one and say equal and that will give us zero comma four zero two to zero. The reason why my answer is not the same as their answer, it means they rounded off too quickly. They rounded off too, too quickly. You only, you only round off when you get to the final answer, do not round off while you're still in the problem mode. It creates problems because it adds additional um, decimals where it should not. And when you get to the final answer, your final answer become inflated by the uh, decimals that you have been increasing in your problem when you were solving. So please pay very 
good attention when you are working out the problems. And that is how you use the manual calculation. So those who have like the sharp scientific calculator or the financial calculator, you will calculate this manually, especially with those with the old and the latest calculators of Casio that does not have the fraction sign. Those with a fraction sign. So let's go to the fraction sign. Those with the Casio that has a fraction sign. I will call it the Casio with the fraction sign that looks like that on the, the button that looks like that. Those ones, you can use the whole formula, which is 0, 0,46 minus 1,645 times the square root of 0, 0,46 times 1 minus 0, 0,46 divided by 200. We will do this all at once. By once we've done this, we just press the equal sign at the end. How do we do that? If you have your cash your calculator, your calculator needs to be in the normal mode. So my one is in the state mode, so I need to take it back to the mo normal mode, which is the maths mode. So now we start by capturing 0, 0,4. So you say point. 46, 0, 46, you say minus 1,645, which is this part. Then you can say times the square root. Uh, even if you don't put the multiplication, your calculator will know that this is multiplying with the square root. And since underneath the square root is a fraction, you're going to also put the fraction in and we're going to fill up the top part the same way as we see it. Then we say 0, 0,46 and we put the bracket. 1 minus 0, 0,46, close bracket. So you will notice that sometimes I do put 0, 0,46 and sometimes I do not put. I just want to make you aware that on your calculator, even if you don't put a zero first, you can just put a decimal. It will know that it's 0, that number. So it's 0, 0,46. And we go to the division by drag by using the arrow. So you just use the arrow, the downward arrow, and it will go to the bottom. And you put 200. And when you are done, you can press the equal sign. And if you see that, the answer is 0, 4020. And that is how quick it is to use this cash flow calculator. And it's not always the same, uh, especially when you have multiple questions and multiple steps that you need to go through. Okay. And if it, you are doing the plus, so if I was doing the plus now, you can use the arrow by going first to the right. It will go to the beginning of the question and then using your arrow as well to scroll to the plus sign and then go in backspace and put in the plus sign and pressing the equal sign will give you the answer for 0, 0,46 plus 1,645 to the square root of 0, 0,46 times 1 minus 0, 0,46 divided by 200. And that answer will give us 0, 0,517. Nine seven. Depending on how many decimals it is, it will be zero comma five one eight zero probably. And that's how you answer this type of equations using your calculator. Thank you guys. I hope this makes up for all the mess I created earlier on.